Today, we're going to talk about AI story, which means using artificial intelligence to generate a relatively complete story. First, let's take a look at the overall demonstration effect. The story has just been told. The general plot outline of the story is as follows. Two girls found a mysterious map in an attic. Then, following the map, they found a mechanism in the jungle. After passing through a tunnel, they entered a mysterious altar. There, they discovered a book of wisdom. As they read the book, a stream of light flashed, taking them away and allowing them to escape the terrifying jungle. The story is very simple and actually quite rough. However, it is a relatively complete work. If we want to create something like this, there are three aspects that need attention. Firstly, consistency is crucial, including the video style, the characters, and the color palette. All of this is very important. Secondly, it needs a coherent storyline. And thirdly, it requires a unified and rich sound effect design. These three elements are indispensable. Otherwise, you might experience a significant sense of disconnect. Is creating such a video very difficult? Actually, it's not. Today, we're going to teach you a very simple method. First, let's do a technical analysis. There are mainly three technologies used here. The first is ComfyY. The second is Nano Banana. And the third is actually Gemini's Prompt Generator. Of course, this Prompt Generator is specifically for 1.2.2. Among these three technologies, we primarily use ComfyY to generate videos and their corresponding sound effects. Nano Banana is mainly used to generate the images for image to video creation and also handles some very critical consistency tasks. Additionally, as we mentioned, Gemini is mainly responsible for generating prompts. So, where should we start? Let's begin with the simplest and most familiar one, ComfyY. In ComfyY, we mainly use two workflows. The first is the 1.2.2 image to video workflow. The second is the Foley sound effect generation workflow. All right. First, let's look at the image to video workflow. We've used this workflow multiple times already, so I won't go into its detailed analysis here. Let's just look at how I prepared the first image for each scene in advance. We'll discuss how to do this later. Next, you need a prompt that is relatively aligned with the entire scene. This will make your generated videos feel more impactful. Many people might find that the images they generate look great, but the videos lack dynamism and appear rather flat. The reason for this might lie in our prompts. Therefore, you need to generate a relatively perfect prompt to ensure better results. Let's look at the various workflows we generated, including the second video. They are searching for treasure in the jungle, and they find the switch to the treasure. They advance towards the secret chamber through a dim tunnel, and then find the Book of Wisdom on an altar. Finally, the Book of Wisdom glows and takes them away from the jungle. You can see that almost every scene has some camera movement, and there's interaction between the two characters. The overall quality is relatively high. Therefore, if you want to generate high quality videos, two key elements are indispensable. First, our images, and second, our prompts. That concludes the first workflow. The second workflow is even simpler. We're using Foley here. Foley, as a multimodal model for sound effect generation, considers both the visuals and our prompts. This workflow is even simpler because we didn't write any prompts at all. In Foley's description, it explicitly states that if you don't write prompts, it will generate sound effects based on the overall effect of your visuals. So, this makes it relatively simple. For example, let's look at the last scene. You'll see I didn't write anything. Let's listen to the sound effect. Sound effect plays, right? Isn't it fantastic? And it can simulate many other sounds. For instance, let's listen to this. This is after the two girls discover the treasure. They are very surprised and have a dialogue. I don't know what they are saying, but we can tell it's a dialogue, right? Similarly, let's look at the second scene. So when you're manic. There are even more elements here. There's background music, footsteps, and a relatively deep ambient sound, making the whole atmosphere feel quite oppressive. The third scene is relatively lighter. Let's listen. This is when they found the mechanism leading to the secret chamber. So, the entire soundtrack is more dynamic. This includes them walking in the tunnel. 
Look, the atmosphere and sound effects are also very good. We won't go through each one individually. So, these are the two very crucial workflows we talked about earlier in the image to video section. We mentioned that the most critical elements for generating high quality videos are prompts and images. Of course, before that, there's another very important factor, inspiration. Everything starts with inspiration. So where did my inspiration come from? I'd like to share that with you too. I stumbled upon a post by a great developer named Guizong on Twitter. He summarized many innovative uses of Nano Banana. While browsing, I discovered one particular use, creating film storyboards. We can provide an image with two characters, and it can generate various cinematic storyboards. Of course, in his example, he generated 12 images, but in my case, I generated six. This is because the consistency of the characters in 12 images wasn't particularly good. We've previously demonstrated something called error accumulation, or memory loss. So, you should know that if you give too much input, the large language model's attention will gradually disappear. Therefore, the consistency isn't well maintained. I recommend generating only six images. There are also corresponding prompts provided. Guizong's post about Nano Banana is just one of many. There are many more, and you can explore them yourself. They can provide you with various inspirations. Once we have this inspiration, let's look at our first step. Our first step is to generate reference images for the characters. Here, I also used Nano Banana. There are various ways to use Nano Banana. The simplest and most economical way is to use Google AI Studio, which is completely free. You can select Nano Banana from the model selection on the right side. Once selected, you can use the model. Please note, I uploaded two images. These two images are of two beautiful women, and their quality is very high. Then, I wrote a prompt. Generate a half-body shot of two girls, with a white background. Please note that the second image I uploaded was 1024 by 1024 pixels. Therefore, the size of the generated image is also 1024 by 1024 pixels. The overall quality is also very high. Here's a hidden tip. When you upload multiple reference images, Nano Banana's resolution will match that of your last image. So, when controlling the output resolution, we mainly look at this image. This is our first step. Essentially, we've generated a combined photo of two people. These are the two protagonists of our movie. I do not recommend uploading two separate reference images as this puts a considerable strain on the model. It's better to combine them into one image. This makes generation simpler and improves consistency. Next, let's look at our second step. The second step also uses Nano Banana. Now, I've uploaded one image. This image was modified using photo editing software, photos from the previous image. The modification involved changing its resolution to 1920 by 1080, which is a 16 to 9 aspect ratio. Then, I wrote this prompt. This is basically consistent with Gwizin's prompt, and I was lazy, so I didn't modify it further. The prompt says, use these two characters to create a compelling six-part story. This phrase is a bit convoluted. It actually means six separate stories, and each should be accompanied by six images. Each image describes an independent scene. I added this part because sometimes it would stitch all images together, which is not what I wanted, and adopt a realistic cinematic style. The story revolves around their quest for treasure. There are many wonderful scenes throughout the process. The whole story is full of thrills, with emotional ups and downs. The ending has a wonderful twist. The images should try to maintain a close-up perspective. I also added this, because I didn't want the shots to be too far away, making it hard to see the two people, right? And do not include any text or textual elements. So, that's our prompt. The output result is very interesting. Take a look. It's divided into six parts. The first part is called Mysterious Map. Two people discover a map in an ancient library. You can see that the character consistency is very well maintained, and the overall lighting effect is also excellent. His second part is called Deep in the Jungle. They take the map and search for treasure deep in a mysterious tropical rainforest. You can see the consistency is very strong, and the colors are completely unified. The third part is about them finding an ancient temple. There's a mechanism, and they use it to enter a cave. This is a scene of them exploring their way through the cave. Further down, they find a book of wisdom on an altar. Then, the book of wisdom emits a light, taking them away from the jungle. This is the whole story. Notice that in addition to the images, each story also has corresponding shot-be-shot -shot scripts. This is very important. Why do I say this? Remember 
We just mentioned that besides images, prompts are also very important. So, what do I rely on to generate these prompts? I rely on these shot-by-shot -shot scripts. This brings us to another Gemini model. This is my previously trained 1 2.2 prompt generator. Please note that for the main description of each prompt, I use the generated shot-by-shot -shot scripts. Then, it generates both Chinese and English versions of the prompts. I directly paste the English prompts to generate our corresponding videos. So, when generating prompts, for the theme part, I don't need to write anything new. I just paste it and generate. After these prompts are generated, we use the image to video workflow we just discussed. We paste the prompts here and the images here. Then, we get very high quality videos. After that, we use our voiceover workflow and the Foley model to add the sound effects. Finally, with some simple video editing, you can create our final effect. So, as you can see, the entire process seems relatively simple, but it involves various technologies. Therefore, sometimes when you create many things, remember to accumulate them. For example, your audio, sound effects, workflows, prompt generators. Once you have some achievements, be sure to save them, because in the future, stacking or reusing them will maximize their value. Additionally, there's a very important concept here. Resource reuse. The most prominent example is our use of the generated shot-by-shot -shot scripts to directly create prompts. This can save a lot of time and other cumbersome steps. That's all for today. What are you waiting for? Go and try it yourself. Follow me and become someone who understands AI.